Hi, I'm Matt Sosman at Microsoft, and today I'm going to talk to you about security and compliance in Microsoft Teams, starting with Cloud App Security and Azure Active Directory, two really cool Microsoft security technologies. Now let's go ahead and go through a couple of demonstrations on how we could use these technologies with Microsoft Teams. Now let's pretend for a moment that you're at home and you want to get some work done. And so you're going to use your personal computer that's not managed by the company's IT department to use Microsoft Teams. And so you're going to browse to teams.microsoft.com and get logged in. Now once you get logged in and you tell it to remember your session or not, you're going to then be redirected to a website that lets you know that your access to Microsoft Teams is being monitored. Check this out. Now, also, I want to call your attention to the upper left-hand corner in the address bar. Notice that your session is being proxied through a Microsoft data center. This allows us to not only monitor that activity and audit it, but also control it. I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue to Microsoft Teams and get signed in. Now, once we get signed into Microsoft Teams, let's go out to a channel that has a document, and perhaps this document's sensitive. Now, normally, you'd want to download it locally to your personal computer so you can get some work done. But remember, once you download it to that unmanaged device, the IT department now no longer has control or access over that file. And so we need some compliance around that. So when I go to download that file, Microsoft Cloud App Security in the background is actually proxying this session and controlling it. And here it's witnessed that you've attempted to download a file from this application and it's automatically blocked your ability to download the file. Now you're probably wondering what this little notepad file is here that it tried to download and that's just letting you know that the download was indeed blocked. Now let me tell you a couple other additional things around this. Now we just blocked the download, but we could also allow you to block it based on certain keywords or sensitive information type inside the file so we could actually inspect the content. Now I could allow you to download the file, but then apply DLP such as Azure Information Protection Label and Protection Policy to that document. A number of different things here can be performed. This is really cool stuff, and this is the power that you have when you combine Microsoft Cloud App Security with Microsoft Teams. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of the awesome new capabilities of Cloud App Security when combined with Azure Active Directory conditional access to bring out new scenarios in Microsoft Teams. Thank you again for your time, and have a great day.